What's up, everybody? This is Antonio here to bring you episode 117 of the Option Adventures. No, no longer going to call it Weeble Option Adventures since we are in Fidelity now. Uh, so we're just going to call it Option Adventures. Uh, but uh, I want to show you guys what we ended up uh, trading this week and how much we made in uh, total because every week we try to sell some options so we can collect that premium and uh, hopefully we can uh, generate some pretty good income where we're actually generating about 1% every single month. Uh, if I uh, show you guys here the portfolio in general uh, you'll see that we actually do have one position which I'll show you guys when we jump over there but uh, we should have about all Tria 100 shares we did get assigned but uh, balance of at fidelity for us you'll see that we did spike up a little bit so we should be right around $31,426.11 uh, so if I show you guys here the current positions uh, you'll see that uh, the first one uh, this is an SPAXX which is uh, Mar uh, government money market account that uh, is actually the main reason why I transferred over from Weeble to uh, Fidelity because all of my uninvested cash actually gets invested into this automatically and uh, we actually get about a 4% return. Let me see if uh, it'll show us up. But uh, you'll see that uh, we do get about 4.49% return on our invested cash, which is pretty sweet. Uh, something we did not get from Weeble. Uh, so if we don't actually play some trades on all our full position, we will get some very, very nice interest on it. Uh, then we do have Altria, which is uh, currently trading about $44.43. We did get assigned 100 shares. Uh, our actual cost basis is roughly right around $45. So we spent about $4,500. That is because we did sell a cash secured put. And uh, of course, Altria did go below our strike price. Uh, but uh, let me show you guys here the balance. Uh, so you'll see that we are supposed to be at $31,431.11. Uh, we actually ended up uh, getting assigned the Altria shares. So uh, we do deduct that from that. And if I show you guys here the activities and we scroll to the very bottom i want to go ahead and show you guys so on the 29th of march we did uh, transfer all of our money to this account uh, you'll see that immediately like two days later uh, they we did get a dividend or interest payment from the money market account which was about seven dollars and 73 cents which is actually really nice so uh, hopefully we do get some more uh, towards the end of the month and uh, that'll help a lot because that will help us achieve that one percent we're trying to get uh, passively so on the 3rd of April guys we actually ended up uh, selling a uh, cash secured put uh, so if I expend it uh, we did sell a uh, Altria uh, cash secured put on for I guess an expiration date of uh, April 6 uh, 2023 with a strike price of $45 we did one of these contracts and uh, we got paid about set 18 cents which is comes out about to be $17 and 31 cents after fees uh, the next one we did do here was the Tesla so we sold a cash secured put on Tesla for uh, an expiration of the 6th of April with a strike price of $182.50 and then uh, from there you'll see that we did collect about $69.31 after fees uh, so that was pretty sweet there on the WBA we did sell on cash secured put on WBA uh, for uh, I guess an expiration of the 6th of April uh, then uh, we ended up actually getting a strike price of $34.50 and uh, we collected about $5.66 and uh, this one did expire worthless which you'll see in shortly uh, but uh, you'll see on the 4th of April uh, this was automatically done for us so $92.28 which I believe is all the premium we collected from selling these cash secured puts got automatically reinvested into this uh, money market account so that we could hopefully get some interest by the end of the month. Uh, so that is something really really nice that I do like about that. Uh, but uh, on the 10th or I guess yeah we did get assigned 100 shares or I guess we will see it on the 10th, but uh, this week we did get assigned 100 shares of Altria and uh, still processing uh, this one. We did expire the WBA uh, cash secured puts and then we did get uh, the Tesla cash secured put also to expire. 
and then guys you'll see that we bought uh, the 100 shares of Altria so it's still in the processing and you'll see that uh, April 7th it says buy 100 shares of Altria at $45 uh, filled and uh, so next week we should see 100 shares of Altria we'll be ready to sell some covered calls on it and uh, hopefully we can uh, get exit out of the position otherwise we will collect the dividend on it so that will be pretty sweet uh, but uh, one of the things I do want to get feedback from you guys do you want me to go over uh, the activities here where we expand it or would you prefer uh, for me to actually just show you guys in the activities where we do have the credits and debits which one would you find a lot easier I just don't want to continue to repeat myself uh, going through the activities and show you guys here on the actual spreadsheet again so let me know your comments down there uh, while you're down there uh, consider subscribing with the notification we're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers so definitely help me out as well if you wouldn't mind dropping a big thumbs up on the video definitely goes a long way definitely would appreciate it but uh, let's find out how much we made in total so if we look uh, on the 3rd of April and then if we our date ended on the 7th so in total we did make uh, $92.28 credits we collected uh, $92.28 in total after fees there was actually nothing in debits nothing in gains and then nothing invested if we look at the graphs you'll see that we are at $92.28 for the month of April so far so uh, we're trying to get this to about 1% per month that is our major goal and then on the monthly performance uh, for April we're at 30.33% so we have a uh, a little bit more to go to achieve that one percent i will be making a video next week uh, showing you guys what we made in total for the month or i guess for the year of 2022 for our uh, options adventures uh you know uh, performance so it'll definitely be exciting if we look at the weekly performance you'll see that uh week 148 uh, we are at uh, thirty one thousand four hundred eighty eight dollars and eleven cents after you add up this premium if we look over here this is what we've collected so far uh, so i'm starting the year in april and then we'll uh, reevaluate and see how much we made in total uh, by next april of 2024 uh, that'll be our year there uh, so this is actually our first week for this technically for this year for us uh, so so far we are at 92 dollars 28 cents uh, so far is what we've made so far and then our current return on investment is 0.29 percent and then uh, if we look at uh, these are actually uh, after taxes if you were to consider that if we look at the credits here guys uh, again I already went through this but uh, let me know if you want me to cover this more into the into the google sheets or would you prefer it on the fidelity account on the activities tab and then again for the debit as well here you'll see we do have the assigned 100 shares of altria uh, and then if we look at the gains here there's nothing in gains nothing in current buys and uh yeah guys this is actually all i have for you guys in this update let me know what you guys think of uh the fidelity account uh and uh don't forget to subscribe with that notification. Drop a big thumbs up on the video. Definitely would appreciate it. Let me know in the comment section how much you guys made this week and uh, selling options. Uh, definitely, we will continue to collect these crumbs and they do add up over time. We're going to try to get that 1% every single month. We'll see how that goes. I will talk to you guys later. Take care. Stay safe out there. Bye, guys.